All right, now this next one here is just gonna be a nice, easy arm swing. All right, so we're just gonna kind of open up the chest, pinch the shoulders back behind us. All right. You want me to move, Jim? Remember, it doesn't matter to me which arm overlaps over the other. All right. Let's get a nice chest opening stretch. This is going to get us really prepared here for two of our workouts here that I want to try. Now I'm kind of thinking of this workout today as a little bit of an experimental workout for a couple of these. I'm trying to get really creative with how we use our bands and how we set up self anchors. Uh, so hopefully these will work today. It'll, it'll make our workouts a little more versatile. If, uh, if these work out and we'll relax here in three, two, and one, go ahead and relax. There we go. All right. Now I want to continue to kind of loosen our body up. So we're just going to go to a nice standing torso twist here. All right. We're going to go for 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Go ahead. It's a nice torso twist. Twisting. Is that what you said? Looks like. And I added this one in because I woke up this morning and my back was pretty tight. There we go. Oops. I might need to try to get my back popped later. Three, two, one, relax. There we go. Must have slept funny on that back last night. Oh well. Now this next stretch here is going to be is going to resemble um, a uh, a wood chopper or a sword pull. All right, but we're going to be without any any weight here. And I like to call this one the disco stretch. Now I don't know any disco moves. All right, um, maybe some of you do. I don't know. But uh, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into a um, an athletic type pose, and I'm going to start off by reaching my right hand to some part of my left leg, all right? And I say that because it's up to you, all right? It's gonna be dependent on how comfortable you are. If you wanna reach for your ankle, for your shin, for your knee, for your thigh, either one is fine, all right? I'm gonna reach for my knee here and just show you what I'm gonna do for my upper body. So I'm starting out here, reaching for my knee, I'm gonna reach up and reach for the ceiling. Right, swinging my arm in a diagonal fashion. All right. And I call this one the disco stretch because it reminds me of this disco move I've seen a lot where they go. Right? So, again, I don't know disco that well, but I want to get both sides of the body warmed up here. Go ahead and start. And maybe as you get looser and looser, you can start to try to reach for a lower and lower part on your leg. So as my back gets looser, as my torso gets looser, I'm gonna start trying to bring my fingertips maybe to my shin, all right? And then maybe as I get looser, maybe I'll try to bring them to my ankle. But I want you to go at a pace and at a range of motion that's comfortable for you. Three, two, one, relax. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and get the other side of the body warmed up in the same way. All right, I'm gonna reach my left hand now to my right leg, somewhere on the right leg. All right, we're gonna get started in three, two, one. Go ahead. There we go. It's that diagonal swing of the arm. Reaching our fingertips from the leg to the ceiling. There we go, I'm getting looser. I'm gonna try to reach below my knee now. There we go. Very nice. Back loosened up. Bring that belly button with the hand. Three, two, one. Relax. Awesome. All right. Hopefully, get my back loosened up a little bit better. Now, this next stretch uh, is going to include our chair, all right? Now we can have the chair if we want it. We can also be at a wall if we'd like. But essentially what I'm gonna do is just a, another leg swing that we've been getting used to here lately, all right? 
So we're only gonna go forward and backward today. We're gonna go for 30 seconds, all right? Go ahead and start. There we go, and I want us today to focus a little bit more on the back swing of the leg, the leg swing today, all right? Obviously, we still wanna get the front loosened up as well, but I want us to focus a little more on the back. All right, three, two, one, relax. Let's go ahead and get the other leg here. Go ahead and start. There we go. Very nice. And what I'm trying to get at here is folk, by focusing on that back swing, I'm hoping that we can get our hamstrings loosened up a little bit. Three, two, one, relax. All right, so this, this next stretch is one that I don't do very often, all right, uh, at least in the clinic, um, and it's gonna be a variation of our butt kick, all right? This is gonna try to loosen up our quads here and maybe even get the hamstring muscles working as well. Now, I suggest that you be at a wall or a chair again, um, and I'm gonna say the same thing that I said about the disco stretch and that the range of motion is uh, dependent on you, all right? The difficulty is dependent on the range of motion, sorry, that's what I want to say. All right, and that depends on how, how far you want to go. Now I'll show you from the side here, actually maybe a little bit from the back here, what I'm gonna do, all right? So I'm going to just go try to bring my heel to my butt, all right, butt kicks, yep. Yeah. We'll go ahead and we'll do this for about 45 seconds. Go ahead and start. Just kind of show you what I'm doing from the side here. All right. Now remember that the range of motion depends on you. So I am, I am able to bring my heel all the way to my rear end. All right. But I want you to go at a pace and a range of motion that's comfortable for you. There we go. Just trying to get those quads loosened up and get those hamstrings working. That's a tough muscle group for us to work. Here at home, the hamstrings. There we go. Three, two, one, relax. Very nice. Now, this next one, we're actually going to be seated in a chair here. All right, and I'll keep my angle where it's been. Hopefully, you've been able to see what I'm doing. All right. And I'm actually going to uh, push myself to the back of the seat and make sure that we're sitting up nice and tall, all right? And uh, what I'm gonna do is keep one leg bent and in this position. The other one's gonna straighten out, and what I'm gonna do is try to draw circles with my foot, all right? So seated leg circles here, okay? We're gonna go for about 30 seconds on each leg together, all right? So let's relax for a second. Let me. Uh, Fix my stopwatch. So with our circles, we wanna get uh, both directions in here on both legs, okay? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna go for time here, uh, but I'm gonna set us up for an entire minute, uh, just like I did with our ankle rolls a couple weeks ago. I'm gonna set us up for an entire minute, and I'm gonna have you do the seated leg circles at your own pace, all right? Get it, trying to get both directions on both legs. I'll let you know every 15 seconds where we're at on the time, all right? So let's go ahead and get started here in three, two, one, go. There we go, just straighten that leg. I'm going counterclockwise with the right leg here. We don't need to do this one for too long, only about 15 seconds is pretty good. We're at 15 seconds here. There we go, just switch. Whenever you feel like you want to, at your own pace. There we go, we're at 30 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and switch legs here. I wanna get this one loosened up as well. Just taking this at a nice, quick pace. Don't need to spend too much time on each leg or in each direction here. 45 seconds. I 
I forgot how squeaky this chair is. Three, two, one, relax. Awesome. All right, I think that's a great way to get our quadricep working here. All right, and that's gonna actually help us lead into our first superset. Uh, so the, uh, the lower body exercise that I wanna do for our first superset is going to be a hip flexion exercise. All right, so generally the, the movement here is gonna be at the hip. We're gonna have a straight leg, all right? And what we're gonna try to do is raise that leg up high. All right, so it's like I'm trying to bring my toes up to the ceiling with my legs straight. Now, I don't have it perfectly straight, all right? Let me switch my angle here. So my, my leg is a little bit bent here, all right? And I'm really not moving that far, all right? I'm not moving that far at all. Maybe just a couple inches, all right? But that's going to get our quadricep working. It's trying to help us pull our leg up for us, all right? Now, where I'm trying to get a little more versatile with our resistance band exercises specifically is with our self anchors. So, um, I've been trying to find a way to, uh, to uh, mimic the uh, leg extension machine in the clinic. Uh, so, we'll need our band for this one, and, and this is a progression from that straight leg raise that we just did. All right, the straight leg raise. If we want to add resistance, this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to have my resistance band folded like this, all right, with both handles side by side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it on the floor here, all right? And I'm, I'm with my left leg here. This is my left leg. I'm going to anchor both ends of the band down on the floor with my left foot, all right? Now that creates a loop out here that I'm actually going to stick my right leg through, all right? So I've got my right leg through the loop, anchoring down the other ends with my left. And I'm going to readjust myself. I actually, when I was testing this out yesterday, I kind of preferred to have my left leg when I, when I was anchoring the, the bands down, kind of off to the side a little bit, all right? So that way I, ha I have more uh, space to pull the band with my other leg here. So hopefully we can see what I'm doing. Anchoring both ends of the band down with one leg. Got the other leg through the loop that's free. Now with my straight leg, I'm gonna extend up. All right, just like we were doing before. Pointing the toes up to the ceiling. And we're just stretching that band with the straight leg, trying to mimic that leg extension machine in the clinic, all right? Now, if we, if we don't want to go with the band, that's totally fine. We can still get a great workout just lifting the leg without the band, all right? That's going to help us work our quadricep muscle group, all right? And then we'll end up getting both legs in this exercise. We'll do 10 on each leg for a total of 20 reps, and that will be for each set. Uh, now, the upper body exercise that I want to pair with this one, let me change my angle here a little bit, is going to be a chest fly, all right? So we're going to set up an anchor for this one that uh, we have done before, all right? So this anchor is going to be a staggered stance anchor. So one leg forward, one leg back. It doesn't matter which foot is forward here, all right? Just as long as the knee on that front leg is bent, all right? That's the biggest thing. Now, let me, we'll have both handles in our hands when we have the middle of that band anchored down. And what I'm going to do is with my arms out in front, I'm going to pull them out to the side, pinch my shoulders back behind me. This is going to be our self-anchor chest fly. All right, like we're like we got our wings and we're spreading our wings to go fly. All right, make sure that we're pinching our shoulders back behind us, and we're gonna get 15 reps of this. All right, when we get to it. Okay. Now, since we're already in this staggered stance with our band set up, I want to start with this exercise. Okay. So we're gonna get 15 reps of our chest fly. All right, and then we're gonna go to our seated leg raises, okay? So we're gonna get 15 reps together here in three, two, 
one, go. Pinch those shoulders back on the way out. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good. All right. So, I'm going to go to the lower leg or the lower body exercise here. Now, if we want to set up our anchor, if we want, so if we want that resistance, we can set up our anchor. All right. Remember to fold the band here like, like so. Put the handle side by side. Put the foot down right next to both of those handles on the ground so you got the loop free. And then you can stick your other leg through the loop. All right. Now, I do experience a little bit of the band trying to roll up my leg. Um, but if you stick your foot out on the foot that you're using to anchor the band down, if you stick that foot out to the side a little bit, it's going to keep it tighter and that's going to help the band stay in place. All right. Now I'd like to get 10 reps on whichever leg you have started here. All right. And we're going to get started in three, two, and one. Ready? Let's bring that leg up to the ceiling and back down. That's one. Two, touch those toes up there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. There's no way I'm going to be able to do three workouts worth of that one. So I'm going to have to go without the band for these next couple sets here. All right, so I'm going to switch sides. Now I'm going to anchor the other ends of the band beneath the other foot now. All right, and put the other leg through, the one that we weren't working before. All right, once again, I'm going to raise my leg up to the ceiling and back down for 10 reps. We're going to get started here in three, two, and one, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. All right, so that's one set down on the leg raise. Let's go ahead and get set up for our upper body exercise here. There we go. Remember to set up your staggered stance anchor, whichever foot you want forward. Just make sure that front knee is bent. We're going to go with our chest flies here. 15 reps in three, two, and one. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. There we go. All right. Now, just one quick thing about that one. Uh, if we, depending on the angle, if we, if we were to go straight up and not pinch our shoulders, that's going to turn into a lateral raise, all right, which is another good exercise, but not what I'm trying to target here. So let's try to emphasize pulling back and pinching the shoulders back. 
behind us. That way we're targeting that upper back a little bit more, helping that posture. So let's go to our lower body set here. I'm gonna go without the band this time. All right, starting on whichever leg you like to. We're gonna get 10 reps on each side. All right, we're gonna get started in three, two, and one. Ready? Toes up to the ceiling and back down. That's one. Try to sit up as nice and tall as you can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and switch legs. For those of you who are uh, choosing to use a resistance band, I'll give you a few seconds to get situated. All right. Remember to anchor those two ends of the band down with one foot. We're gonna get our 10 reps on the other leg here in three, two, and one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very nice, all right? Let's go one more time through both of those and we'll be off or we'll be done with the first superset, all right? So I'm gonna come back up to standing, change my angle for us. All right. Get my staggered stance anchor ready to go. All right, let's get our last 15 reps on the chest fly here in three, two, one, go. Pinch those shoulders back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15, there we go. All righty, last set on the leg raise. Change my angle. Give you, uh, those of you who wanna use the band for this one, I'll give you a quick second again to get situated. I need to find a less squeaky chair to do this. All right, we're gonna get 10 leg raises on whichever leg you want to start with here in three, two, and one. Ready? Toes up and back down. That's one, two, three, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. There we go. All right, give a quick second for those using the band to get situated. And I hope that we're remembering to go at our, our own range of motion, whatever we're comfortable with here. All right, but hopefully we're still challenging ourselves with this exercise. All right, we'll go ahead and get 10 reps on the other leg here in three, Two and one. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. All right, 
Awesome job, class. I'm going to take this opportunity here to, to count all of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've been consistently getting eleven in this one. I think that's pretty good. All righty. So for our, our next superset, the upper body exercise that we're going to do here is going to be a mirror of the chest fly, all right? And I call this one a front clap. So I'm going to set up another staggered stance anchor. The only There's going to be a little bit of a wrinkle here in this one, though, with our anchor, all right? So I'm going to step on the band in the middle again with one foot. Now, rather than taking a step back, I'm gonna take a step forward, all right? So hopefully you can see here, I'll, change, I'll turn to the side here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I now have the anchor on my back foot rather than my front, all right? So this is still a staggered stance anchor that we're establishing. We just have the band around the other foot this time, and I still want you to have my, or have your, uh, there we go, to, yeah, to have your front knee bent, right? We never want that thing locked out, okay? Now, I'm gonna change my angle so you can see what I'm gonna do here. So we just got done doing a fly, right, where we're pinching our shoulders back behind us and coming back. Now, in our new staggered stance, what I wanna do is a front clap. So. I'm gonna have my palms facing out in front of me, almost like I wanna do a bicep curl, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my arms up, clap in front of me, clap those handles, and come right back down, all right? So clap in front of you, give yourself a round of applause, come back down, all right? And that's gonna be working the front of our shoulders, and more specifically, it's gonna be working our chest muscles here, all right? to kind of counteract and balance ourselves out after that uh, upper back workout that we just got, all right? Now, this next one here, I want to, uh, to let you know right off the bat um, that uh, we can do it with, or sorry, no, actually we're gonna do that one later. Yep, so this next one here, we're gonna be standing, this is gonna be a core exercise, all right? So the one I was talking about before, we'll do that later. All right, now I'm gonna transition from my staggered stance to a, a new anchor where I actually have both feet on the band. All right, this is gonna be our core workout for the day. All right, so I have both feet on the band and I'm actually gonna get myself nice and spread out here. All right, feet gonna be shoulder width apart, maybe a little wider, but I want you to make sure that you're comfortable. Now let me change my angle here. I got both handles in my hand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it myself with my, uh, my palms facing each other, all right? My, my elbows are gonna be bent. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a cross body punch here, all right? So I'm gonna punch to the side, I'm gonna go to the left with my right, all right? And then I'm gonna go to the right with my left, okay? Now the width of the stance here is what's going to increase the resistance. All right, so if you wanna make it a little tougher, widen your stance out. If you wanna make it easier, make your stance a little more narrow. All right, now I'm definitely not gonna be looking for you all to be able to reach super far out, all right? But I just wanna make sure that you're getting a good arm extension here that feels safe, and we're getting a good twist of the torso. So the, again, I wanna use that same cue that we've had before, that there's a rope going from your belly button to the handle in your hand, all right? It's gotta follow the handle. And we're gonna do that one for time rather than for number of reps, all right? That'll be for about 45 seconds, okay? So let's set up our staggered stance anchor here, okay? This time with the anchor in back behind us. So I'm gonna anchor this one with my right foot, step forward. Remember, it doesn't matter which foot is the anchor here, all right? And I'm gonna to go to my front clap. So my palms are gonna be away from my body, and I'm gonna clap in front of me right here, all right? We're gonna get 15 reps of that together, 
All right, we're gonna get started in three, two, and one. Ready? Give yourselves a good clap and back down. That's one. Nice round of applause. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. There we go. Now, um, some of you might have noticed that when I slapped my handles together, first of all, you could hear it. Second of all, I was giving myself a little bit of a, a it's, it's called a stick when you, when you uh, hold the top of a rep for about a second. That's what you call a stick, all right? And that's gonna kind of help make those muscles work a little bit more, all right? Now I'm gonna set up my cross body punch anchor here, both feet. Remember the width of the stance is gonna, is gonna Determine how difficult this one is going to be, all right? And I'm now going to have my palms facing each other. And we're going to go for 45 seconds with our crossbody punch here in three, two, one, and go ahead. Ready? There we go. Go at your own pace here. I'm even going to add a couple bounces, all right? Some of you might remember that Olivia likes boxing. All right, I never got into boxing that much, but I know that uh, boxers like to kind of be up on their toes, you know, bouncing around a little bit, getting their whole body working here. I think Olivia would be proud. There we go. There we go, get a good arm extension here. Now you all keep going. I'm gonna pause here to check the time, all right? Three, two, one, relax. Very nice, all right? Now, let's go ahead and go right back into our front clap here, okay? So I'm gonna set up my anchor with the band in the back foot, all right? And we're gonna clap for 15 reps here in three, two, and one. Ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and set up our cross body punch anchor here. All right, set up your width however you'd like it. Remember the palms are together here to start. I'm gonna get us started for 45 seconds in three, two, one. Go ahead. There we go. If you want to add some of those, uh, some of those bounces. I don't know if you can see me kind of bobbing up and down here. All right. Yeah, try to add those bounces in there if you can, if you want to. There we go. Get a good extension of those arms. Make sure that belly button's coming with the handle every time. Getting an arm workout, shoulder workout, core, lower body in here if you're adding your bounces. And I would even say for me at least, this counts as cardio. I should do more cardio than I do. You keep going, I'm gonna check the time. Three, two, one. Relax, very nice, all right? Now, if we're a little bit winded from that, I am a little bit, 
Let's breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth while we set up our anchor for the front clap. Last time through, all right? Remember, palms are away. We're gonna have 15 front claps here in three, two, and one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. There we go. I don't know about you all, but I'm, I'm sweating more in, in this one than I have in any of the other ones I've led, so maybe that's a good thing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up with my uh, cross body punch here. All right, excuse me, got an itch in my nose. We're gonna get 45 seconds here in three, two, and one. Go ahead, there we go. Some good. Bounces in there too if you can making this a full body workout. This is a, an extremely versatile workout I'll say that phrase. I've been loving to say lately getting more bang for your buck here That's definitely true with this one There we go keep your breathing steady in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now you keep going. I'm gonna check the time. Three, two, one, relax. Awesome. All righty. I'm gonna go ahead and set this band down here. We are, if you wanna use it for this next superset, you can. I'll let you know already that it, uh, if you wanna keep it, you can. If you don't wanna use it for this next one, that's fine. Now, this next one's gonna include our weights, all right, our weights that we have. Um, it's gonna be an overhead press with our weights. Now, I've actually put my weights back on the weight bench, so I'm gonna go without them today. Um, and you're free to do that as well. Obviously, you can go with or without the weight, um, however you please. Um, if we are a, a little averse to overhead, movement or overhead resistance, we can change this to the lateral raise that we did, I believe on Monday that was, that we did a lateral raise, all right? So either one is fine. Uh, we're gonna get 10 reps of either of those exercises together, all right, when, when we get to it, all right? So either the overhead press, all right, both arms, or the lateral raise, if you uh, wanna stay away from the overhead movement. Now this next one, our lower body exercise is another kind of an experimental one that I want to try out. Um, and please give me feedback. If, uh, if you hate it, let me know, all right? I still want to be trying these things because I'm trying to be as versatile as possible with these exercises. Um, so I got, I got to try things out sometime. Uh, now I'm gonna change my angle, yeah, so you can see my chair, hopefully, all right? Now this is why we did the leg swing, the forward backward leg swing in the uh, warm up. all right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to not necessarily do a swing like we did, but I'm going to do an extension behind me, all right? So this is the one that we can go with or without the band for, all right? And I want, we're gonna emphasize the backward extension of the leg, all right? And that's gonna help us get the glute and the hamstring. Now I'm getting my muscles to fire here without the band, all right? So we're, we can get a good workout here without the band. If you wanna add the band in, if you want that extra resistance, here's what we can do, all right? This is a little bit uh, cumbersome, but I'm gonna take my band here. Maybe I'll change my angle for this, for this part. I'm gonna take my band, and I'm gonna stick one handle through the other, all right? Just like this. 
So that way it's kind of a loop. All right, oh, maybe not. This is why I, this is why I worked on this last night, so I'd be able to be ready for this morning. All right, so hopefully it'll stay. There we go, all right? So now it's, it's kind of a little bit of a loop here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the end of the, the loop, all right, and I'm gonna put it through the leg of the chair. All right, so I'm gonna lift the chair up. So now that loop is anchored by that leg of the chair. Now, what I'm gonna do is step through the loop and I'm gonna anchor this thing on my heel, all right, like this, and I'm going to extend out. It might actually work a little better. I, I did this with the heel and with the toes. If you'd rather go with the toes, you can try to extend with it on your feet. That way it doesn't roll up your leg, all right? Now, either one here, we're gonna do 10 reps on each leg, all right? with the chair involved, okay? So it'll be 20 reps total. Uh, remember, you can choose to go with or without the band. I'm gonna go to our overhead press. All right, we're gonna get 10 reps of the overhead press together. All right, or the lateral raise, if you choose that one instead, okay? We're gonna get 10 reps here in three, two, one, and go, right? Straight up and back down, that's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. All right. So that's our first set on our upper body. Let me check the time here. And we might only be able to get uh, one more set of each of these in today, which is fine. Now I'm going to go, I'll go with the band here just to kind of show how that works here for 10 reps on each leg. All right. We're just going to focus on the backward extension of that leg for 10 reps. All right. We're going to get started here in three, two, and one. Ready? Bring that leg out and back. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. Now, for those of you going with the band, might not be a lot of you, but that's fine. Just go ahead and bring that leg out and then bring the other leg in. All right. We're going to get 10 reps together here in three, two, and one. Ready? Stick that leg back there and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. All right, so I don't know if you know if you noticed this. Hopefully, you could see what my leg was doing, um, but I wasn't going too far back. All right, and still getting my muscles to work really well. So just like with that leg raise, we don't need a large range of motion to get the work for that exercise. All right, let's get our last set of our overhead press here for ten reps in three, two, and one. Ready? Pressing up and back down. That's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There we go. All right, so that's our last set on, on that one just for time purposes. Let's go ahead and get ourselves set up for our leg extension here, or our, our backward leg extension. All right, 10 reps on whichever leg you wanna start with in three, two, and one. Ready? Pressing back, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. All right, go ahead and switch legs. I'm gonna get my band situated here. I'm finding that I, I'm trusting the toes a little more than the heel, all right, for this one, so that way the band doesn't roll up, all right? We're gonna get 10 reps here in three, two, and one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. There we go. All righty. Now let's move on to our cool down here. Um, our first exercise that I wanna do for our cool down is, is one that I've actually never done before. Let me scoot this band out of my way here. All right, so this is what's gonna be called, I'm just gonna call it a, an arm pull. All right, so we've done the arm pull across, but now I wanna do a little bit more of a diagonal angle. So I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna reach down for my hip actually like we did in our disco stretch or for somewhere on your, your opposite side leg. And I'm gonna pull with my, with my other hand. All right, so I'm grabbing my own wrist and I'm pulling across. All right, now my torso is getting a little bit of a twist here. All right, we're gonna hold this stretch for about 30 seconds. All right, go ahead and start if you haven't already. Here we go. So I'm just holding this, maybe grabbing the forearm will help a little bit too. And I'm just gonna pull my hand down diagonally here. And where I'm feeling this one is in my upper back, right in this area. All right, let's continue to breathe here. Now it took me a couple practice tries here. Three, two, one, relax. It took me a few practice tries to really feel that one, um, but I think that it can be a good stretch once you practice it. All right, let's get the other arm here. Ready, go ahead. Oops. There we go. That's my back cracking. I don't know if you heard that. There we go. And I'm just pulling diagonally down. And I'm getting a little bit of a twist in my torso. Trying to feel that stretch in the upper back. I would have really loved this stretch when I pulled my, or not pulled, when I got that pinched nerve in my back. In like December, I think it was. This stretch would have been awesome for that. Let me check my time here. Three, two, one, relax. Very good. Now, still got plenty of time. This next one here is gonna be at a wall, all right? So let me just kinda scoot some stuff around here. I have you guys on uh, Eleanor's sewing table. So she's got all of her sewing stuff here. I need to make sure I don't uh, hurt anything. All right, so. You might be able to see this part of the wall here. She's got a picture of Cosmo Kramer from Seinfeld on there. So he's gonna be my stretching buddy for this one. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put one arm straight up, all right? And I'm actually gonna put the side of my arm here on the wall like this. Hopefully you all can see what I'm doing here. Yeah, there we go, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk my feet out just a little bit, not too far, like maybe two or three mini steps. And I'm just gonna kind of lean into the wall here and kind of get the side of my shoulder stretched here. All right. So we're gonna go for about 30 seconds on each arm here. Hopefully you all can see what I'm doing here. Just got one arm straight up on the wall. And we're gonna try to lean our torso toward the wall here. All right. Go ahead and start if you haven't already. There we go. And let's continue to breathe here as well. Our posture's a little compromised here. We, we can still try to stand up nice and tall. All right. But let's continue to breathe. Three, 
two, one, relax. All righty. Now let's go ahead and get the other side involved here. Now I don't want to turn my back on the camera too often, so I'm just going to lift my arm up and I'm going to show you what I, what I did there. I, I kind of lifted my arm, put it on the wall, and then I'm stepping off to the side and I'm just kind of leaning into the stretch with my torso. Trying to get this, this area stretched in here. We can also kind of feel it on the side here if we really push our torso into it. All right. There we go. Now you continue to stretch here. I'm gonna check the time again. Oh, we're doing great. Keep stretching, keep stretching. Three, two, one, relax. Very good, go ahead and relax here. Now for this next one here, um, we can use the chair actually, or we can be on the floor, um, on, on whatever we have on the floor, whether it's a mat or just our carpet or something like that, all right? And, um, I'll give a seated version and I'll give a floor version. I'll give the floor version first. All right, this is gonna be our lying knee tuck. All right, or sorry, our seated knee hug, my fault. Our seated knee hug. So I'm gonna hug my, my uh, leg to my, my chest here while I'm seated on the floor. All right, and then because I'm a little more flexible in my hip, I have to pick up my, my, uh, my heel from the ground here. Hopefully y'all can see that. All right, now the seated version that I wanna to go to is gonna be a mix of two stretches, all right? So the seated version here is gonna be just that same single leg hamstring stretch now, but I'm gonna have the knee bent on purpose, all right? So I'm gonna lean forward and reach for my toe, all right, with the knee bent on purpose here, all right? And whichever one you want to choose, we're going to go ahead and do that for 30 seconds here. Start the timer. So we can do the seated stretch or the stretch on the floor. There we go. I think the stretch feels pretty good after doing that hamstring workout from before. I've been looking for a couple weeks now for a different way to work the hamstring at home than RDL. Three, two, one, relax. All right. So if you're in the seated knee hug or if you're in the, the chair, whichever one, let's switch legs. All right. We'll go for 30 seconds here in three, two, and one. Go ahead. Just reaching for that toe. Let's try to keep our posture here as well. All right. This will be our last stretch of the day here. We'll go a little bit over 30 seconds just to get a little extra stretch in here. Three, two, one, relax. All righty. So that's all that I have for you for today.